Yo, Charles here uh, with the hype. Today we're gonna be looking at the Brunswick Knockout Black and Blue. Um, I just wanted to get on here and man, let's hit that like, subscribe button. We need that. We need it. We need all of it. Like, just hit that button down below. Hit it now, please. Uh, and then if you look for any apparel, uh, cool week, they got T-shirts, jerseys, um, whatever brands you like, man, they have a variety. It's probably like the biggest variety of you know apparel that you can you can get so but uh let's get to the video all right what's going on people let's take a look at the layout for the knockout black and blue if you didn't catch that on the screen uh it's 30 by 5 by 35 in the infamous which we're going to be comparing this ball uh, which we're gonna be it's gonna be the ball we compare. Uh, it's 45 by 4 by 35. Layout's slightly different. The knockout black and blue. Uh, it's a little bit longer of a pin, um, but it, man, like it's just he, he he was trying to again just accomplish having that true benchmark ball in his bag. Um, and I think this layout he could probably could have went a little stronger, but he's loving this motion. He really is. Um, and that's all like he's been throwing this ball tournaments he just took it out of town he's like man i couldn't put it down like <laughs> again it's, it's that type of ball reaction it's that melee jab uh core that's in it that's proven um that is what's in this ball uh the same uh that's in the midnight blue uh the rg mentioned the numbers really quickly uh rg of two two four seven five and a differential of oh five oh uh, finished at 500 2000 Sierra micro pad and since we just talking about the numbers let's talk about the infamous real quick um, the RG on this one is 2559 and a differential of 052 uh, finished at 2000 uh, 500 1000 2000 excuse me for anybody uh, my sticklers out there uh, I think the cover on the infamous is just a little bit stronger uh, than the knockout um, and that's where you kind of see this ball can kind of burn up at times but also throughout the course of the video you'll see you know this ball kind of take off too like this ball really can handle some oil uh and that's really also something that tj experienced like man when he sees a lot of oil he can pull his ball out especially we can even lower the lower the surface on it and it it takes the takes that well um but the the black and blue is a more overall consistent ball reaction i'd say the, the infamous isn't like i you know, I personally love that ball and TJ man, I threw a 300 with this ball as well so it's not that we don't love this ball it's just that knockout is different um, and this knockout is a little more again consistent front to back uh, and I, I feel like you again as we see you know the PBA tour go on and on um, you're gonna see this ball come out like it, it this this one in particular I think more so than the black knockout is it's just a lot more like controllable you see the shape you, it lets you know when you need to move it lets you know hey hey no, you didn't throw it right um or where you need to what part of the lane you need to be in uh, i think that's the biggest difference in my opinion from what that original knockout was uh where that ball can really get really whippy down lane and that's something you know i saw from it um and tj didn't get a chance to throw that one so that's why i'm just kind of mentioning my 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 you know history with that ball but when we talk about this infamous the infamous man again being a little bit higher rg it gets down the lane a little bit more but i think because it has that stronger cover man when it again encounters some oil man you really see this ball it's like true like nature in my opinion like and yeah he misses a couple shots here and there but there's some wood lanes on a house shot but it, it's been through something like when we can't tell like this is open play or whatever uh but again the knockout was just a little more consistent in this environment so yeah that's really all it is man you both of these balls are definitely in the middle of your bag um this is not the weakest ball in your bag by any means nor is it the strongest um you, you definitely have um you know stuff like you know the zenith or obsession tours that i believe are stronger than this uh this this particular ball or you know black widows if you're looking at the hammer line or you know just it, it, there there's a lot of balls across the brands um but yeah man this is middle of the bag benchmark type of reaction it's like the infamous a little more niche or new yeah niche um but 
that's all I got for you, man. We'll talk later. Charles Hutchinson. I'm signing out. Man, hit that like, subscribe button. We out.